In this microsode, I will demonstrate how to modify or make your own default template in Inkscape version 0.46. Let's begin. Okay, when opening a vanilla session of Inkscape for the first time, you'll notice that the document is configured a certain way. For instance, the document is set up in Portrait A4, uh, units are set to pixels, and the canvas is set to transparent, among many other things. Okay, so you'd find some of those settings here in Document Properties and we can see that it's A4, portrait, uh, pixels for units, uh, show page border, show border shadow. Um, that's where those things can be found. But let's say that you would like to change some of those settings so when opening Inkscape it's configured your way. We do this by saving or modifying uh, the default template. Inkscape's default template is located in user local Inkscape share we can find it here and you're looking for the default.svg file okay again that's user share Inkscape templates and we uh, find that on an Ubuntu uh, operating system in Windows I it might be located in the uh, C program files Inkscape share templates directory and again you're looking for the default.svg file Okay, there are two ways that I know of to uh, modify or create a default template in Inkscape. Okay, the first way is to open um, Inkscape up as root, open the default SVG file, change it or modify it any way that you that you wish, and save it back out. And you can do that by opening a terminal and issuing this command: gk sudo Inkscape user share Inkscape templates default.svg and when you do that you'll get a vanilla session of Inkscape in uh, as root okay you'll have to type in your password to get it and once it opens change the document any way that you want and just save it okay the next time that you open up Inkscape your document will be set up the way that you want it okay now there's nothing really wrong with doing it this way except that I really don't like uh, changing um, the default documents that come with Inkscape in case I want to get back to them. So you might want to go into your directory as root and uh, copy the default.svg out and uh, save a copy. Okay, you can save a copy right in that directory. That's just fine. But give it a name, uh, default underscore original, or, or something like that, uh, just so you can get back to it if you need it. Okay, now. The second way, and this is the way that I prefer to do it in Linux, is to uh, open up Inkscape, um, change your document to suit. Okay, so for example, we might go into our document properties. Uh, I might choose US letter, landscape. Um, I might shut off the border shadow. I might set up a layer or two. Um, I might change my units to something else. Um, I can do a number of things. I could draw an object. Maybe I wanted an object in here so that every time I opened up Inkscape, this object is right here and it's that particular size. Okay, we do that by saving uh, the document uh, when we're done with it as default.svg and putting it in our home user directory in the dot Inkscape templates folder. Okay, that would be located here. Okay, again, it's home, heathen X, that would be your name, um, slash dot inkscape, slash templates. Okay, and we save our document when we're done modifying it as a default dot SVG file. Now when we open up Inkscape, it'll be uh, configured our way with all of our settings in it. Okay, Inkscape knows to look in this directory before using in are before looking into its own directory structure for that default SVG. And what's great about this is that you have um, total rights to it. So you can go in and delete this default SVG if you want to get back to uh, the vanilla default SVG file. So basically, that's how you uh, modify or uh, create your own template, uh, your default template in Inkscape. So thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.